So floating uh, offshore wind is the next big thing in energy extraction because the far uh, majority of the offshore wind potential is at water depths over 60 uh, meters. So most of uh, the near, uh, near shore fields now have been extracted. We need to go further offshore. That provides us with additional benefits. You get uh, stronger wind, more stable uh, wind, and also, if you think about from a manufacturing and installation perspective, you can scale this in a different way. And our expectation is that by 2030, this will be a very cost effective and efficient uh, energy form. For uptime, uh, it's important when we develop and design products to be forward looking and uh, make sure that everything that we design not only works today, but it's future proof uh, technology that will support our customers also five, ten years from now. We are used to connecting to fixed objects. Now both objects are moving and we have to take that into account. That will also make it a bit more challenging for the Vessel DP system. We should never forget that we are carrying personnel and transferring personnel from the vessel to uh, TP. To make sure that everything is done in a controlled way is the most important thing uh, for us. The way we normally transport cargo across to a, uh, a construction, a wind turbine, is today by craning. And uh, we are analyzing data all the time to see how we can do this more efficiently. And we believe that if we can get all the cargo across the motion from the gangway uh, in a very efficient manner, worked on data, removing waste, then we will be uh, ahead of the game. To uh, tackle some of the challenges that we see in the future, we have developed something we call the Uptime's digital ecosystem, consisting of four new products and services. One, a control system to tackle the challenges of floating wind. Two, a collaborative data platform that collects data from the operations and provides advanced analytics to improve efficiency and performance. Three, uh, a tracker that will track people and cargo movements across the gangway to support safety and efficiency of the operation. And last but not least, uh, an autonomous trolley that will automatically move cargo from the warehouse in the vessel to the wind turbine uh, on the asset they are supporting. Uptime's product and solution, uh, we believe it gives us better operability. Uh, we see that they take control of the control system. Uh, we also see that they, the trolley that they're developing will also increase the probability for the vessel, both for us as ship owner and for our end users. We need to move towards decarbonization also of our vessels. And by doing that, we need to look at every element of energy that goes into the equation. Uptime have a very good spot to fill to get our operations both efficiency-wise but also energy-wise optimized. It's very important to have focus on carbon emission and uh, carbon footprint in this business. Uh, newest solutions from Uptime, especially the autonomous system, will help us reduce the turnaround time for every TP that we are visiting. That will definitely reduce the carbon emission. Uptime's digital uh, ecosystem is designed for enhanced operations towards floating offshore wind, reducing uh, downtime, further enhancing uh, green energy extraction, and more efficiency in the logistics and transfer of uh, cargo and uh, people, reducing operational costs for the customer, and also the environmental footprint of our equipment. Thank you.